This is question 12 from the October 2019 SAT. College Board is asking us to solve a rational equation, and that's frequently awkward, and this case definitely delivers. We have two approaches. We can substitute in the answers, which will be awkward, or we can solve it algebraically, which often gives you an extraneous solution, which is also awkward. So we'll do both methods. First of all, if I substitute in negative 3, I'm dividing by 0 here and here. Division by 0 is not allowed on the SAT, so I can rule out choice A. Similarly, choice D, if I substitute in x equals 3, the right-hand side becomes undefined, so I can rule that out. The correct answer is either B or C. Let's substitute in choice B, and if it works, that's the answer. If it fails, I know that C is the answer, and I wouldn't actually have to substitute it in. So negative 1 half squared is positive 1 fourth times 4 is 1 over 1 fourth minus 9. And I'll simplify that while I'm there. 9 is 36 over 4. So 1 over 4 minus 36 over 4 is 35 over 4. 1 over negative 35 5 over 4. That's ugly. Negative 1 half times negative 2 is minus negative 1 is plus 1 over negative 1 half plus 3 is 2.5. equals negative one-half minus three is negative 3.5. Now I'm going to multiply this fraction by two over two and this fraction by two over two to get whole number numerator and denominator. So that's two over five equals negative two over seven. If I multiply the first fraction by four over four, again, I don't like fractions inside fractions, I get negative 4 over 35, because 4 over 4 cancels, plus 2 over 5 equals negative 2 over 7. Negative 4 over 35 is much smaller than 2 over 5, so the left-hand side is po positive, while the right-hand side is negative. This is not true. I can rule out choice B. The correct answer is C. Let's actually substitute C in and verify that. The first fraction will be the same. 1 half squared is 1 fourth in both cases, so I know that's negative 4 over 35. I didn't enjoy it the first time, so I won't write out the steps the second time. I just know it's the same. Minus 2 halves is minus 1 over 1 half plus 3 is 3.5 equals 1 over 1 half minus 3 is 1 over negative 2.5. And again, I'm going to multiply by two halves to get whole numbers in my numerator and denominator. Negative 4 over 35 minus 2 over 7 equals negative 2 over 5. Let's get a common denominator on the left. I'll multiply by 5 over 5 because 5 over 5 is 1, so I'm allowed to do that, and that'll give me a denominator of 35. Negative 4 over 35 minus 10 over 35 well, that's negative 14 over 35, and they're both multiples of 7. So that's 2 times 7 over 5 times 7 is negative 2 over 5. And that is my right-hand side, so choice C did, in fact, work as expected. Now, this is a fairly hard question, but that was a lot of arithmetic with plenty of opportunities for careless errors, because many of us are bad at fractions, bad at decimals, so let's try it algebraically and see if it's any prettier. My personal opinion is that algebra is just as ugly. It comes down to a, per a preference. So I have, this is x plus 3, x minus 3. I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 3, x minus 3. So I'll have no more fractions. And it's often worth the small amount of extra time to write x plus 3x minus 3 with each fraction so we don't mess up when we're canceling. x plus 3 over x plus 3 is 1. x minus 3 over x minus 3 is 1 x plus 3 over x plus 3 is 1, x minus 3 over x minus 3 is 1. So we have 
x squared minus 2x times x minus 3 equals 1 times x plus 3. 4x squared distributing to both terms minus 2x squared plus 6x. Negative 2x times negative 3 is positive 6x. So that's 2x squared plus 6x and then subtract x from both sides. So that's plus 5x and subtract 3 from both sides. Minus 3 equals 0. I expect this to factor because I have nice pretty numbers for my answer choices. So I have 2x and x. I have a plus and a minus. I'll write them both as minus and then change one of them. And I want to get a 5, which would be 6 minus 1, or it could be 2 plus 3. But these have opposite signs, so I want a 6. And then the x, that would be an x plus 3. Let's check FOIL. 2x squared plus 6x minus x is plus 5x minus 3. That works. This product equals 0, so either 2x minus 1 equals 0, 2x equals 1. If I add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 1 half. That's the answer I got by substituting in numbers. Or x plus 3 equals 0, because if this product is 0, either factor could be 0. Subtract 3 from each side and get x equals negative 3 up there. That's choice A. If I had started with the algebraic approach, I would have had two answers, and now I have to figure out which one is correct, which, of course, when I substitute in negative 3, the first fraction and the second fr fraction both become undefined. So that is what we call an extraneous solution. And solving radi radical equations or rational equations, you often need to check for extraneous solutions. If they give you a list of answers, it's often easier to substitute them in and see which ones work, because when you solve algebraically, you again have to substitute in and see if they work. So x equals negative 3 is extraneous. We cannot use that one. And the answer is x equals 1 half choice c, same as I found by substituting in. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.